Hi everyone, I'm Jacob Green. I'm from Moss Labs, and I also live in Baltimore. If you don't know Baltimore, we're about 45 minutes away from Washington, D.C. We are an amazing city with great talent, yet we suffer from one of the highest murder rates and highest crime rates in the U.S. currently, as well as we were attacked by ransomware. The entire city, all digital services were pretty much shut down for most of the summer. You couldn't buy real estate. So as we look to modernize our city, and as we look to modernize and bring technology into the 18,000 municipalities in the US, this becomes our new to-do list. This becomes the list of design requirements needed as we scale this technology. Typically, we look to solve these challenges with open standards, open data, and open source, yet these Tools are not enough. That's why I'm looking to say we need to bring more open source in the ideas of community, structured collaboration, and the sustained innovation engines as the primary tools used to accomplish that to-do list that we need to for our society. I think of open source as the art and science of collaboration. That art brings us back to the humanity, and that humanity is what we must focus on as we're being bold and tackling this enormous problem. In order to tackle it, in order to get that collaboration really expanding, to expand open source um, into verticals and to work with partners that no don't normally work with us, it is our feeling that we must engage our institutions and expand what it means to be an open source institution going forward. We need to find better ways to collaborate between cities, institutions, and for that, we present the idea of the OSPO. The OSPO is the open source program office, popularized by industry today. You can think of an organization like this, a multi-sided, complex organization, lots of different sides. But what it allows it to engage in open source, we have the open source program office for internal collaboration around open source, as well as it provides an interface for others to engage with this organization around open source collaboration. If we then present a vision of collaboration from the, into the non-traditional open source institutions, this open source program office becomes our API as a way of interfacing between those, those corporations those entities, those cities, those libraries, those other institutions that need to be brought into the fold, educated on what open source is, work, we need to work with them on projects in order for this to become sustainable. That includes open source, engaging in inner source, municipal source, or what have you. We're starting this by not just thinking about this in the, theor in the theoretical sense, we're putting this into practice. A few weeks ago, at the inaugural Baltimore Washington Open Source Week, we brought together civic tech with hackathons in the St. Francis Neighborhood Center. We worked with the InterSource Commons to bring their fall summit to engage our local industry, as well as the to-do group of open source program offices. There's a whole set of open source program offices and a, and a, co and a community around them to bring them to help the, uh, with the newly launched Johns Hopkins Open Source Program Office. Johns Hopkins University is one of the largest research universities in the country. They have now made a commitment to open up an open source program office for open cities. And this is, we think, a, an amazing opportunity to find out where this goes to build more at our highest level research institutions as a starting point to start this collaboration. One of the first things we're doing at this open source program office is working with, our, with the community centers in our city at a, at a global scale. We're working with the city of Paris with their Lutis software package that powers 50% of all digital services for the entire city. It's all open source. The St. Francis Neighborhood Center in West Baltimore is the first group outside of France to use this system to see if we can't engage in providing digital services. Images from us bringing together leading figures of the open source leadership around this coalition idea 
If you'd like to work with us, engage with us, learn more about open source program offices, I encourage you to attend a session we're holding today at 315 across from the Red Hat booth in the Glass office. Or you can reach us digitally, the To Do Group, Johns Hopkins, St. Francis Neighborhood Center, the Latisse System, or InnerSource, or myself. This is a growing partnership, and we'd love to have you part of it. Thank you.